Okay, I'm back to finish this whole face transformation. And what I'm going to do next is my eyes. So, so remember we put the concealer on? That was actually a good thing because it sets the face. Sets the because it sets the eyes um, as a as a base for the eyes for the eyeshadow. So we're gonna set that base with some of our face powder, and I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me um, pressed powder in the color Mocha. Okay, so I'm just patting this on the lids of my eyes, so it sets the powder. And today I will be using and reviewing this palette by um, BH Cosmetics. They did a collaboration with the Instagram beauty guru, It's My Ray Ray. And I really did buy this palette. palette. Number one, she is a woman of color, so represent, you know, support our women of color, black men of color too. <laughs> and um, this is her palette. It came with, I think it was 21 eyeshadows and six um, face powders, three highlighters, three contours for everybody to match everybody's skin tone um i probably won't be using the darkest one is way too dark for me so i'll be using my own that i usually use um this is like matches my skin color exactly and this is too light regardless so the highlighters i will be using that are my favorite are radiant and um moonlight so i'm gonna use radiant and then moonlight on top french toast is nice for really dark complected women um, this will be a wonderful highlight for you. For me, I probably could just use it as an eyeshadow. It's a little bit too dark for me. Um, let's see. So, I'm going to start off with the eyeshadows. You have the first two rows are matte and the last row are shimmers. So, I will be using a combo of matte and shimmer. And you'll see why because you'll see the pretty little look I'm about to do. So, now that we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to take Connie, which is this lovely um, deep purple. And we're going to apply it all over the lid. And I'm just using a small, I've had this brush, oh my god, I've had this brush for so long. I've had this brush since probably like 2009. And this, and this is also good that we put the powder underneath our eyes because it catches the fallout. So the one thing I did complain about with this palette is the fallout. There's a lot of fallout when it comes to this palette. Um, a lot, some people don't mind fallout. Some people do. I'm one of those people who definitely mind the fallout because I feel like it's wasting product. So then I'm going to take, I don't know, then I'm going to take, I'm going to go with Control Freak, Control Freak, which is this um, brown, like a, like a medium brown color. And I'm going to take a large not large i'll say a medium fluffy blending brush see that's the fallout i'm talking about blow it away So we want to incorporate some more warm uh, purplish colors to go with the eyeshadow that I put on my lid. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to take this, um, this small, I don't know which, I wouldn't say a blending brush. It's more of a thick domed, like um, blending, like yeah, blending brush. So it's thicker. Let me see, I can do this. Oh, there we go. So it looks like that. And this is old to also. And I'm going to take this color called Friday, which is a nice pinkish purple color, more of a fuchsia, but not, it's more muted fuchsia. And I'm going to take some of my brush and go in the crease again with that. So see how that adds to the purple? Like it looks so radiant, like 
you have to look at the colors and I always like put them on the back of my hand so I can see exactly what I'm using, how it's working, how it looks with the um, before I apply it to my eyes. Because you can kind of freestyle if you want, but sometimes freestyling it. I'm just taking an actual, a smaller fluffy blending brush and um, I got this from Morphe also. So yeah, so this is pretty as it is. This is really nice. However, we're gonna take it up a notch and we're gonna add some shimmer to our lid. So I'm gonna, cause it is really, um, I don't know, it's just harder to, sometimes you gotta play with it because it's just harder to work with the color with um, a brush. So what I'm going to do is take Connie and I'm going to go below my lash line. So what I'm going to do now is dust some of that craziness off with this push up kabuki brush. I think I got it from like Rite Aid or whatever a while ago. It's by Eco Tools and I know they do sell that at Walgreens. Uh, not Walgreens. I guess they do make, they may sell at Walgreens but I mean Rite Aid. Anyway, I'm going to dust and look how easy that came off without getting color all on my face because I, um, because that purple fallout. So that's the plus to baking, especially before you do your eyeshadow. Hmm. There we go. I had to, I had to find a clean finger. All right. Right. So now that that's done, before we, we're gonna finish the eyes, but right now we're gonna work on our face. And I'm actually gonna take the pressed powder, uh, the for my face, the Maybelline Fit Me in Mocha. And I'm going to press in all the areas where I didn't apply the highlighting, the highlight, the concealer. And. Okay. So just to like set my face. <clears throat> I'm going to go over my eyebrows for a second. There we go. So. Next, we're going to work on our contour. I don't think I'm going to do a, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do a um, liner today. I think this look is really pretty. And so do a liner, kind of covers it up a little bit. Although I do love liner and I love how it makes my eyes look real cat-like. So we're going to work on our contour next. And like I said, I'm not going to use the contour that was in the it's my Ray Ray palette because it's um, too dark for me. So what I'm using right now is um, Ebony. It's like a mineral, it's like a pressed powder <clears throat> by Ruby Kisses. It's called um, Mineral Powder. And it has, um, yeah, so it's just a pressed powder. But it's a darker shade than me. That way I can do my contour. And you're going to take a contour brush. Any one that you prefer. Some people prefer the angled ones. Some people prefer the flat, the flat ones. I, don't, I just got this one. <clears throat> this brush was from Wish, and um, it's just a kind of flat, fluffy brush. 
this en enough to fit in my cheeks. I'm going to swirl it and tap off and hit my cheek like this. I'm going to go down first and then I'm going to swirl it up. Okay. I think I need my mirror for this one. <laughs> so I'm going to swirl it up, girls. And I'm going to blend it out more. That way it's not a harsh line. Okay, so I'm going to do the same for my jawline because my jawline, my face is kind of round, so I've got to chis I chisel it out a little bit. So I hit the jawline right here and blend that out to create a shape. This is just an angle brush. I got this from the Beach Cosmetics Studio Pro Collection. It's not really that good of a brush, but it gets the job done. So I swirl and tap, and then what I'm gonna do is lightly go down the side of my nose that I want to contour. I'm gonna make my nose I kind of blend the in the, this side of the contour like on my uh, on the bridge of my nose with my finger then <clears throat> I'm going to go in with a bronzer just to like warm my face up a bit and this is by it broke but it's by covergirl queen collection in ebony bronze and I'm going to take a small um, blending brush well face blending I call it a bronzing brush and um, I don't know who this is by neither these are really cheap brushes I probably I probably got it from wish to be honest <laughs> and I just go over top of the contour but not on it you know what I'm saying like kind of blend the two together and I go on the side of my face kind of bring it up the side of my face and I do the same for the other side okay and I also do my forehead, guys. So, because I have a huge forehead. I have a huge forehead. <clears throat> I also come down the side of my face. and kind of lightly brush there. My lips are so chapped. I hate the freaking winter time. Right? My skin gets chapped. My lips get chapped. It sucks. Um, so, I'm just like blending out that bronzer on my forehead. Because it tends to... Sometimes you got to blend it. It's all about blending. That's where the work comes in is blending. <clears throat> so, to make my contour more like, you know, sucked and just like one point, I'm going to go back with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. We're gonna let that sit for a little bit, and while we let it sit, we're going to do our mascara. I'm gonna take this flat kabuki brush, angle kabuki brush, and, um, and I'm going to dust off this uh, contour situation. Uh huh. So there we go with the contour. Um, now I'm going to add my lashes, and then I will we'll be right back. Girl, did you know I tried to record this video without putting a, without putting a highlight on? Like, am I tripping? Am I sick? What am I rushing for? Okay. Is my bra strap showing? Yes. But um, let me do this because I I forsake myself. I forsaken myself. I'm gonna do the Radiance 
again, I, mess, I messed it. Got a dent in it already, but I messed it up. I'm going to go in with Radiance. And I'm going to pat some on my cheek. Look at that. Look. Guys. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Look at that. I'm just going to bend a little bit upwards a little bit. Oh. Y'all, like, y'all, look at that, look at that glow. Look at that, mm-mm, 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 glow. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I want to see it again. Because this ring light ain't shit when it comes to when I have no makeup on. But when I put that makeup, when I put that makeup on, this ring light be, be like, look, look at that glow. And um, <clears throat> and I'm gonna be extra. Y'all gonna be sick of me. I'm gonna be extra and go on top of this with moonlights, which is like a white gold color. Let me see. Woo! I'm extra as fuck right now. Like seriously. Look at that. We're gonna blend it out with our finger too. We're gonna blend that out. Oh. <sighs> For those who wanna know, I gotta compose myself. <sighs> For those who want to know what is on my lips, <laughs> I just got, I used a brown pencil. You can use any. This is when I was going through my whole Kylie Cosmetics phase, phase, um, craze phase. This is True Brown. It's the lip kit. It's the um, liner from the True Brown, um, True Brown K box. And I'm using MAC Kinda Sexy on my lips to go with that. So it gives me a nice ombre effect. Um, plus it helps the color blend with my skin tone better. Um, if you this isn't my this isn't it's more of an ombre because this isn't my complexion lip liner color you usually want to get a liner that's close to your complexion that way it kind of like doesn't look so harsh but i didn't do that this time um then after that you want to set your face because you want this makeup to like shine you know for me what setting spray does is basically get rid of the powdery look because none of that shit may last not it don't matter if i bought the most expensive or the most cheapest thing your face is eventually, the oils is going to come through, okay? The oils is going to, look at that shine. Oh, my gosh. I just want to play Beyonce. Shining, 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 yeah. All of this minute. All of this highlighter. But um, the only thing setting spray does for me is take away the powder. Um, as far as that, I, I usually work, when I wear makeup to work, I work like eight, nine, sometimes ten hour days. I can't wait till that shit is over with. Um, so, you know... Um, by the end of the day, I'm still oily. I'm still oily. You got them oils. If your skin oily, that means you look young forever. People still don't believe I'm 32. Okay? So, it's a good thing. So, let them oils come through. That means they still there. They still active. Don't be using no milk or magnesia because it's going to mess your face up. Try not to be oily. Let it embrace the oils. You better carry around some, um, face powder or whatever. Some oil, what do you call them? Oil blast sheets because let's don't be messing your skin out with some shit like that. Anyway, this is by NYX. It's their matte finish spray. I'm just gonna spray this all over. It does take away, it, make, it makes it's like the ultimate finish. Like, you don't see the oils anymore. Not the, I mean, I mean, not the oils, you don't see the powdery look in your face anymore. So, let me get up close <laughs> so you can see all this. Oh my gosh. I'm in love with this. I gotta take some pictures. I wish I had my wig on. Like, <laughs> you put the wig on. That'd be like the complete, like everything be on point after that. <laughs> but I will be coming back because I will be recording some wig videos. I have a lot of videos. I have a lot of wigs. Oh my gosh. I ordered from this one site called Go. Oh my God. I'm gonna share it to you. I'm gonna share it. I'm gonna, I ain't gonna tell you now. I ain't gonna tell you now. I'm gonna tell y'all. You gonna have to wait for it. Right? <laughs> See you later. This is oh, 
don't forget to rate and subscribe hit that notification bell share the video and um and the and the and the uh, 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 oh yeah follow me on instagram and snapchat instagram handle is diabla verde that underscore that'll be in the description box and my snapchat is for the love of lulu that is my nickname is lulu and um because you're gonna see stuff there before you see it on here so you can see what's coming up so stay tuned deuces